Hi club members, it's Leia. I'm here to talk about the mechanics and gameplay of the Creepy Baby one-shot this weekend. Some of our mechanics are heavily inspired by the Honey Heist system to ensure maximum chaos. Each baby will have a meter that goes from 1 to 6, with a B on one end and a C on the other. The B represents their baby trait, and C represents their creepy trait. Each baby will start at 3. Players have a few ways to move their meters up and down by successfully completing actions that are either creepy or baby-like. Failing at those actions also moves their meter. When a player attempts an action to move their meter, they will roll a d6. The action is successful if the number on the dice is the same as where their meter currently is, or is a number closer to the trait they were trying to move towards. For example, this player's meter is at 3. They would like to move their meter one tick towards creepy. They will describe their action and then roll a d6. If they get 3 or higher, they are successful since those numbers are the same as the meter or closer to the C. If they roll a 1 or a 2, they are unsuccessful and their meter moves down a tick closer to B. But what do the meters even mean? Well, I'm so glad you asked. The ends of the meter are special. If a player reaches the one, the closest to the baby end, they trigger baby time. Each baby has a unique ability that they can only perform when they activate baby time. The same happens on a six. When the player makes it up to six, they activate creepy baby time. Each baby has a different and unique ability that they can only perform during creepy baby time. However, the higher or lower a player gets on their meter, the harder it becomes to get closer to that trait. And that's where you come in. Audience members will be able to use channel points, those snacks you've been racking up in chat, to help or hinder our players. You can spend 500 snacks to move a player meter in either direction. Is a player stuck on five and really needs to activate their creepy baby special ability? You can spend 500 snacks to get them there or spend 500 snacks to move them back down and break their spirit. Up to you. Audience members will also be the only ones able to activate nap time. For 1,000 snacks, you can pick a baby who can't do anything on their turn except take a nap. In the middle of being chased, take a nap. In the middle of climbing the deer statue, take a nap. We can't wait to be Chaotic Creepy Babies with you this Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific on the Red Acre Neighborhood Watch Twitch channel. Stay safe, stay sharp-toothed, and stay awake. Over and out.